we are at one of my favorite places today and we are gonna do a little lawn shopping. Hello, my friends. Thank you for coming back to Budget Lawns. I really, really appreciate you. If you are subscribed already, thanks so much. If you are not, please consider doing so. Leave me a thumbs up, comment, all that jazz. You know how much it helps me here on the channel. And what is not helping me is this mask, but we are not in the rocking chair in the garage today. You've heard me talk about this place before. It's the hardware store in Fayetteville, Arkansas. I am a huge supporter of shopping local and that's what I'm going to do today and I try to do as much as possible. But I will not be shopping alone today. I will be shopping with a very familiar face. Um, well, I'm sure a lot of you know him, but I'll let him introduce himself. Hey, what's going on everybody? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I like that. Oh, see? Yeah. I see. I, look I at that. You. I hear you. Oh, we almost had one of those awkward, like, fist bumps, you know, like where somebody knows they're going in for it and the other one just is I was completely gonna, I was oblivious. Hanging, yeah, just to mess with you. <laughs> hey, what are we doing today? So, I tell you what, the end of the season is, well, Jordan's got some season left because of his ryegrass, but the end of the season is pretty much here for me. Uh, I'm not, I'm not crying over it. I know a lot of people get really upset, but what we wanted to do today now that we've made it successfully through another year is we have some time in the off season to do a little dreaming a little fantasizing about what we could have for our lawns that we just absolutely in no way shape or form need i do enough of that in the on season but you're right the off season definitely lends itself more to sitting there online and and, and daydreaming but, a little bit but you always have a great line what is that line you always say about the stuff we want the stuff that you have is more effective than the stuff that you don't have 100 percent of the time but that does not mean we can't window shop yes you can window shop you can fantasize totally fine just don't go tell somebody they need a freaking i don't know brush hog to mow their lawn like because it might be the fastest thing but if they don't have it they obviously can't use it don't, you're gonna get me all riled up here. no i tell you what you know i i am not a, a fan of the folks that just you know shove all this equipment down people's throat because it, really you don't need a whole lot i need absolutely nothing for my lawn and you know i don't have a lot but today i'm going to look i'm gonna have fun and i'm gonna think about the things i I kind of want, maybe I'll have one day. And of course, oh, we are we are in the thick of the stuff today. Of course, where would you start first if you could pick out something for your lawn? Uh, I know where we would start. We would start with an oversized, over the top lawn mower that is way too big for our yards. Jordan, tell me which one you would get. Yeah, I'm looking at this this z master 2000 right here that's got the canopy on top which my wife may actually appreciate because i get sunburned too often not that i like getting sunburned so i'd like the canopy too the my ride suspension system just pretty neat hey this is not a sponsored video by the way <laughs> it may look like it but no and, and the price tag on that you might ask yeah, that's a ten thousand dollar mower about 10 g's 60 inch deck um the michelin Tweel turf tires. We just learned that these are called Tweel turf tires. I never, I never knew a name for the Michelin brand anyway. But that's, it's one of those things that I don't need. Like you just said, I don't need that. But yeah, I'd love to have that. That's what I fantasize about. This baby is sweet. Hey, look, and my dad had one when I was a kid. It's where I got my start. But look, that's a little too rich for my blood here on budget lawns. But I still would go with. A nice zero turn lawnmower. Mine just not quite the price point as Mr. Wright Tools. But yeah, I would go with the Toro, a time cutter, my ride suspension system. Look, call me basic, but you know, this is pretty much all I... Well, it would not take you very long to mow your yard. Yeah, yeah what? Well, 4,000 4, square feet would be done in a, 
20 minutes. That, uh, you think it would take you that long? No, probably. Interesting. It'd be really interesting to see how long it would take you to motor. Could, could I get it through the gate? Oh, that's the true. question. Well, yeah. That's true. But you know what? I, I don't say that I would get this right now for the lawn that I have. As we dream about equipment today, we dream about the next lawn, the bigger lawn true. that we want one day. So, of course, yes, we will start this little game of shopping with lawn mowers and we're only going to pick out three for these next two we're both going to have to you know head inside and oh huh not inside just yet oh i told you i had three but i didn't tell you i said one of mine was inside oh just right one over right over here just one i don't know why but I've wanted one of these. I want to walk behind Edger. I have a stick Edger. My steel stick Edger works great and I love it. But I've wanted to use one of these. I don't know why. <laughs> it just seems like I could probably get some kind of extra, super, extra crispy, double extra crispy edge with this thing. Hey, oh. you hear that? <laughs> that's, that that's the sound of success. <laughs> the sound of success and the, the warning signal that we need to go inside for those other items. Look at that Honda GX120. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Steel. Man, I, you know it's a steel when you hear it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Excuse me. We're going we're, we're to sneak around here and try and not get unsuspecting folks into the shot. So Jordan's got two on the shopping list well it's they're already in the cart an oversized gigantic <laughs> unnecessary lawnmower and the, you know you do I, I will say you do have a lot of sidewalk and driveway space so maybe that would save you some time and as you keep expanding your turf sure, space yeah well so i've got that this is 18 acres back there and there's a sidewalk over by the road that i don't take care of that i at least tell myself that i would if i had the walk behind edger but I'm, I can't be 100% confident and say that would happen either. <laughs> well, I've seen how much space you have, so maybe that, you know, ridiculous lawnmower out there is not oh, too stretching it too, too might much. Might not be. Yeah, it might not be. Maybe not. So he's got two in his shopping cart. And look, you know, it doesn't take very much to please me. You know that I switched from a, a curved shaft trimmer to a straight shaft last year, and the, the guy here at the hardware store, Michael, who is awesome, by the way, as are the owners. Uh, he tried to get me to get the combi system. But look, man, call me a penny pitcher, pincher, call me tight, call me frugal, whatever you want. I just could not drop the money on it that day. Here we are just over a year later, and I wish I would have gotten the combi system. Because I'm telling you, one motor, all the attachments, you will ever need from trimmers to blowers to, mm -hmm. <laughs> to what well, I mean I mean brush trimmers everything you could possibly need will go on this thing mm -hmm. and it is one heck of a piece of equipment yeah, certainly so. not something I need at this point in time but we can only dream <laughs> so those are my you got two now two so we're, we're both tied up at two so I, I know what Jordan's going here for. Last. Okay, so mine's last. We'll do yeah, we'll, we'll go you last. So let me take you over here. And I know this is going to sound like completely ridiculous. Hey, Michael. <laughs> we'll, we'll go this way. We'll go this way. <laughs> so this is going to sound completely ridiculous. And I might, like, I might... I was gonna break the rules here just a little bit, but this is like one of my favorite walls in this in this entire store. And it's all stuff that I've always borrowed, so I'm gonna break the rules a bit. Okay, hey, it's your show. It's And I've talked about it in another episode that I don't need all these things because I can borrow them for as little as I use them, but I kindly, kinda just like want them because it will make my garage look cooler <laughs> so they're just for aesthetic purposes but i would love to just like have an arsenal of all of the rakes and shovels and just 
you know, I mean, that bad boy look out. at that. Yeah. Look at that landscape rake. They do look pretty cool hanging up on the wall of the garage. I've got, I've got a 36 inch. I think it's pretty close, pretty similar to that one. And so like, I would purely be getting an arsenal of this stuff for like cool factor. <laughs> and that's, that's just about it. But speaking of cool factor, for all you budget folks, check out that like old fashioned, well old fashioned, this is brand new, but look at that edger. No one says you have to buy a couple hundred dollar edger or string trimmer to get crisp edges. Look at that bad boy. So yeah, I mean, look, this would just like up my my cred, my street cred in the lawn care game if I had a, if it looks this cool in here, imagine how cool it would look in my my garage. Did you notice that the, these, a lot of these are called Razorback? I didn't know there was a no, Razorback brand of lawn tool. This was meant to be. Yeah, that's we are up here in hog country at Arkansas Razorbacks. So, uh, I don't know, maybe maybe it, maybe it has meaning behind it, maybe it's coincidence. That's some good I don't know. marketing right there is what that is. Oh, I don't know who good. did this, but two thumbs up to you. That's Okay, I might have like deflated some people on that that last one. You go from a huge lawn mower to a combi system to <laughs> a bunch of rakes and shovels. But Mr. Right Tool, show us what you have yep. for your third and final item. So I have the steel combi system. I've got a, a head. Um, I have the weed, the, the weed trimmer. What are you string trimmer? Whatever you people call it. I call it a weed eater. <laughs> we call it a weed eater. For... No, they're not called. That's a brand. Oh, sorry. Don't call it a weed eater. But I do not have any power rotary scissors, and steel just happens to make one that would mate perfectly with my power head. So number three, going with the rotary scissors. Going, go, going with the rotary scissors. Oh, no, yeah, we're yeah we're headed to the cash register. No, Jordan, this was this was a game. This was hypothetical. Hey, who said? No, you said you didn't say hypothetical. We're going with the real deal. He's getting it, folks. All right, our shopping spree is over. On behalf of myself and Right Tool, thank you for joining us again on another installment of Budget Lawns. We will see you next time. Bye.